Richmond Kodak Company is happy to bring you America's favorite family, the Nelson. Ozzy, Harriet, David, and Ricky. They enjoy good times together. And like most of us, they know that good times are snapshot times. Right now, there are lots of good times ahead and everywhere vivid new colors. What a wonderful season is fall. Now as never before is the time to save your fun in color. With Coda Color Film, you can take color snapshots with the camera you now own. Or to make your pictures even more rewarding, choose one of the new Kodak cameras at your photo dealers. They're modern in every way, beautifully styled, easy to use. They range in price from less than $10 to $175. See them tomorrow and this weekend save your good times in color. And now Kodak invites you to enjoy The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. Be careful, that's hot. Looks good. Come on, Rick. Dinner's on the table. Okay, Mom. I'll be right there. I'll pick you up at 7.30 tomorrow night. Well, sure. I'll be on time. Why? Well, I, I couldn't help it. Everybody's late once in a while. Okay? Swell. I'll see you tomorrow night, then. Well, by 8.30 for sure. No, no. I'm just kidding. Sure. 7.30 sharp. Okay? Rick? All right. Bye. I'm coming, Mom. Your dinner's getting cold. Well, that's all right. Well, that Betty sure gets unreasonable at times. Well, what's your problem? I just showed up a little late for a date the other night. She's trying to make a big federal case out of it. Well, how late were you? About an hour. <laughs> how come you're so late? He stopped to comb his hair. <laughs> I did not. I stopped off at the garage to get some gas. Well, that doesn't take long. No, but I had to get the money from Pop first. She's lucky you showed up at all. <laughs> you should have phoned her when you found out you were going to be late. I suppose I should have. I just didn't think about it. Your mother's right, Rick. Try to be on time, but if you can, at least you can usually phone. As sure is a good dinner. Well, it would have been if you'd gotten home on time. Well, it's good anyway. Besides, I phoned and told you I'd be late. Oh, sure, from the corner drugstore five minutes before you got here. <laughs> well, what could I do? All the phones on the bus were busy. <laughs> what happened with Betty? Did you get everything straightened out? Oh, yeah, we've got a day for tomorrow night. You know, Rick, it's just possible you really don't like this girl. Why do you say that? Well, it's a well-known psychological fact that when people are late for something, it's usually because subconsciously they didn't want to go in the first place. You mean you didn't want to come home for dinner tonight? <laughs> no, I don't mean things like that. I mean with Rick. He probably wasn't too anxious to go out with this girl. Oh, I don't think it was that, Bob. It's just that I kind of lost track of the time. Well, that's what I mean. See, you're probably not as interested in her as you think you are. Well, that's not much of an excuse for keeping the poor girl waiting for an hour. You know what might be a nice idea? Take her box of candy tomorrow night. Oh, Harriet, that's so corny. The candy and flower stuff went out with high-button shoes. Or at least that's your story. <laughs> Please, let's not get personal. <laughs> uh, the main thing, Rick, is try not to be late. It, it's a waste of people's time and it's impolite. Not like tonight. I'm supposed to meet Mr. Randolph and Mr. Darby at the bowling alley at 8.30. But just to make sure I don't keep them waiting, I'm going to get there at 8.15. Well, you'd better hurry. It's 8.20 now. <laughs> it's only 7.30. Your watch must be wrong. Oh, really? I must be fast. That's funny. So am I. Hey, so am I. Holy smokes, my watch is stopped. <laughs> Here it is, Bob. Thank you very much, I'll be home early, Harry. Here, give us to you on your phone. What's that? Forgot to duck. <laughs> would, would you mind phoning the bowling alley and tell them I'll be a little late? <laughs> ah, great! Pretty lucky. Now watch the old master go to work. I think that's my ball. No, I'm sorry, this is mine. See, O-N, those are my initials, Ozzie Nelson. Those are my initials, too. Oh, again, Nordstrom. <laughs> oh, by golly, you're right. I'm terribly sorry. I guess I must have been using your ball all evening. <laughs> and I must have been using yours. You know, I thought it felt kind of light. 
kind of late. Why don't we go home? Oh, come on. Just one more game. Give me a chance to get even, will you? Well, I promised Harriet I'd get home early tonight. I know, but one more game, that won't take long. Oh, Ozzy's right. I'm afraid Clara might be worried, too. So I tell you what we could do. We could phone the girls and tell them we'll be a little late that we're going to roll another game. Yeah, that's an idea. Come on. Okay, you guys go ahead. I'll just relax here. Aren't you going to call Sally? No, I'm not. I just wake her up. Whenever I go out, she goes to bed about 9 o'clock. Well, she may go to bed, but I'll bet she doesn't fall asleep until you come in the front door. Besides, wives appreciate little gestures like that. Ozzy's right, Darby. You ought to phone her. Come on. Okay, maybe you're right. Go ahead, Darb. Go ahead. dear. Oh, gee, I, I'm sorry. I woke her up. <laughs> well, you go on back to sleep. I, I just didn't want you to worry. About me. <laughs> oh. oh, gee, uh, that's a shame. She, she banged her ankle getting up to answer the phone. <laughs> no. No, dear, I, I won't be too late. I... Just a minute. What time is it, Oz? 7.30. 7.30? I am not drunk. drunk. Well, honey, will you bring some beer for the girls? Sally, I am too at the bowling alley. I don't know. Some total stranger passing by. That's all. It... Hello, dear. Hello? Hello, hung up. Oh, too bad. Well, uh, go ahead, guys. Call your wives. Just get on with the game. Go ahead, Joe. No, you go ahead, Oz. Gee, I, I don't know. We've had a lot of fun here. Uh, why don't we call it a night? Yeah, let's do that. My arm's getting kind of sore anyway. Come on, Darb. Wait, I gotta get my coat. Uh, no, uh... <laughs> Okay, dear, that, 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 that was me. Uh, that, that is, uh, I didn't uh, blow up the mountain. Uh, it's uh, uh, 7.30. So. Uh, uh, time to go to bed. What's well, after 1 o'clock? I must have fallen asleep while I was waiting for you. Well, gee, you didn't have to wait up for me. What would you do that for? Well, you said you'd be home early. What do you call early? I, I don't know what you were worried about. I was just bowling. Well, Ricky phoned. Oh, what did he want? Well, he wanted to tell me he'd be a little late. Evidently, he took your lecture to heart. Oh, oh, well, this, uh, uh, good for him. <laughs> David phoned, too, and you weren't even lecturing to him. Well, I would have phoned, but, gee, I was afraid I'd wake you up. I wish you had. I slept through most of the picture. Well, you didn't miss much. They blew up a mountain. Ginger Rogers blew up a mountain? <laughs> I don't know who blew it up. It was a Western. How do you like that? I slept through two pictures. <laughs> all I say is I'm sorry. How come all of a sudden you don't want to come home anymore? What do you mean I don't want to come home anymore? Well, I'm just telling you what you told Ricky. What do you mean what I told Ricky? Well, subconsciously, you don't want to come home. You were late for dinner and you're late now. 
Okay, I'll come home a half hour early for dinner tomorrow night. Well, it's just that when you say you're going to come home early and you don't show up, I begin to worry. You should have phoned. Well, I told you I didn't want to wake you up, especially after Sally got so mad when Darby woke her up. Oh, she was probably just kidding. You know Sally never gets mad. Hello? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, I guess so. Okay. Well, yeah, uh, come on over. Who was that? Darby. Want to know if he could sleep over here tonight? <laughs> You just about missed breakfast. We stopped serving in eight minutes. I'm sorry, I hope it's not. That darn Darby never did show up last night. I waited up for him until 3.30. Well, you didn't really think he would, did you? Well, I think he could have phoned when he changed his mind. Oh, well, now you know how I felt. Oh, come on, Harriet. It's a new day. Okay, just tell me one thing. What time will you be home for dinner tonight? I'll be home at 6.30 absolutely, positively, and definitely. You can count on it. Why don't we make it 7 o'clock just to be safe? <laughs> I'll you up. I tell you I'll be home at 6.30. I'm going to take the early bus. Okay, and when you miss it, don't forget the phone. Here are the first Brownie cameras ever designed to take three different kinds of pictures. The Brownie Star Flash Camera and the Brownie Star Flex Camera. They start at less than $9, but they take crisp black and white snapshots, beautiful color snapshots, and brilliant color slides. Star Flash, Star Flex. Imagine inexpensive cameras that actually take color slides as easily as snapshots. The Star Flex with this big picture window on top shows you your picture just like this. So it's easy to get exactly the picture you want. The Star Flash has a built-in flash holder, so you're always ready to take snapshots or color slides, even indoors or at night. And both these cameras let you take close-ups from as little as four feet away. You'll get better pictures than ever before because they both have a new feather touch shutter release. The Star Flash costs $8.95 with built-in flash. The Star Flex, just $10.75. Flash holder, 375. And they're made by Kodak, so you know they're good. Uh, do you happen to know if the six o'clock bus is left yet? Oh, I imagine so. It's about 10 after. <laughs> my watch must have stopped again. Boy, if I'm late for dinner tonight, my wife's gonna shoot me. You'll probably get over it. Well, I don't know. I was late for dinner last night, and I came home late from bowling. I told her I'd be on time tonight for sure. Give me a bit of phone. Sounds like a good idea. Pardon me, I owe a little more here. Do you happen to have change for a 20? I think so. Ten. Hate to bother you like this. That's okay. 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, change right here. 18, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, For 20. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I don't have. Maybe they have it at the cigar stand. Uh, pardon me, could you give me change for 20? Yes, I guess I can do that. Well, I, uh, I have it out and back here. Well, oh, say, never mind. That's okay. No, no, here comes my bus. Uh, uh, hold it, please. Uh, hold it. Here we are. Uh, hold it. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and the dollar in change. That's 20. Can we do anything else for you? Well, thanks very much. Boy, my wife will really shoot me now. Hey! 
Hey, hey, darling. Oh, hi, I didn't see you standing there. So, you know, I've been wondering how you felt about that little phone call last night. I didn't really mean that, you know. I was just trying to kid Sally. Well, gee, why didn't you call me up and tell me? I waited for you till 3.30. Gee, I'm sorry, but I thought it'd be kind of a funny little joke. <laughs> Gee, not to me it wasn't. Tell you the truth, Sally didn't seem to think it was very funny either. You know, she seems to be losing her sense of humor lately. <laughs> How'd you get there, a peace offering? Well, yeah, I thought I'd take these home to her. She was still a little upset this morning. Oh, didn't speak to you at breakfast, huh? She didn't fix any breakfast. She said she thought I'd had my breakfast at the bowling alley. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty funny. I thought you said she'd lost her sense of humor. Well, I suppose that all depends on how you look at it. Uh, don't you think these flowers are, are kind of obvious? No, I don't. You know how women are. They love flowers. Well, I know what she's probably forgotten all about last night by now, and this will just start it all over again. That's not the point, Oz. I got tied up at the office. I'm a half hour late for dinner. Oh, gee, I'm late, too. I'm gonna phone Harriet. Hey, uh, you'd better phone Sally. Oh, no. That's what you told me to do last night. Well, that's <laughs> You woke her up last night, but she isn't asleep now. Yeah, go ahead. I'll hold the flowers. Okay, but I got a feeling I'm making the same mistake again. Oh, uh, will you ask Sally to phone Harriet and tell her I'll be a little late for dinner, too, please? Okay, uh, but this is all getting complicated again. <laughs> ten minutes ago, because I wasn't home on time. Oh. Uh, did you ask her to phone Harriet? I didn't get a chance to. Oh, hey, uh, uh, your flowers. Give them to Harriet. Bless you. Oh, bless you. Hi, Joe. Hi, Oz. Doggone it, why didn't I think of that? Think of what? Flowers. I should have bought some for Clara. It would have helped get me off the hook for being late last night. Oh. <laughs> Well, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't buy these. Where'd you get them? I got them from Darb. He bought them for Sally, and, well, it's kind of a long story, but he's not going home for dinner, so he gave them to me to give to Harriet. I sure hope Clara doesn't find out. Find out about what? Why don't you give them the flowers to Harriet? Say, I have an idea. You mind if I tell Clara that Darb gave them to you? Then she won't be so mad at me. <laughs> I don't know what you're making such a big deal out of it for. Well, why, why don't you take them and give them to Clara? Oh, no, I couldn't do that, Oz. Well, sure, go ahead. Uh, Harriet doesn't particularly care about flowers. Go ahead. Give them to Clara. Oh, well, gee, thanks, old boy. You're a real pal. <laughs> you want to head with dinner. I'm sorry I'm late. Why, the darndest bunch of things happened. Uh, the, first, my watch stopped again, and then I, I wanted to phone you. Oh. Good evening, dear. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to phone you, so I had to get some change, and I went to the man at the cigar stand there, and I missed two buses while I was waiting for him to get the change, and then I missed another bus while I was standing there with the flowers. Oh, you brought me flowers. How nice. Where are they? Uh, <laughs> I, I just uh, can't keep a, a secret from you, can I? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the flowers are, are uh, they're outside. What are they doing outside? Uh, well, I, I uh, uh, just, uh, wait here, uh, 
Go ahead. Fair peeking. Oh, this is so exciting. What happened to them? What happened to what? The floor. <laughs> that was a surprise. I brought you a beautiful bouquet of flowers and I left them right here on the table. If this is your idea of a big joke, I don't think it's very funny. Well, it's not a joke. What's the idea of bringing me flowers anyway? <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you open this door? not. You probably left it open when you came in. I distinctly remember closing it and I think I know what happened to the flowers. I'll be right back. <laughs> Is that big enough? Oh, yeah, that's just fine. They're gone. <laughs> what? The, the, the flowers, they're gone. I put them right here on the coffee table. Oh, really? Harriet, I had a whole bouquet of flowers right here on the coffee table. I think I have a pretty good idea who stole them. <laughs> Harriet, Harriet? Come on in and eat your dinner. We can play games later. <laughs> I'm not playing games, Harriet. <laughs> oh, they're lovely, dear. Oh, thank you, dear. I thought you'd like them. I just can't get over it. You haven't bought me flowers in ten years. Oh, I thought it was almost time. <laughs> Are you sure you went bowling last night? <laughs> of course I did. What makes you think I didn't? Because you haven't bought me flowers in ten years. But I did. I was talking to Oz coming home on the bus tonight. I said, you know, it was pretty thoughtless of me to come home late last night. I think it's only fair that I give these flowers to Clara to, to show her how sorry I am. Joe? Oh, uh, hi, Oz. Oh, I see you've already given her the flowers. Uh, yes. Uh, Oz, old boy, you're just in time. Clara seems to be a little suspicious. Will you please tell her how come I gave her the flowers? Oh, d d well, see, uh, I got on the bus and I had these flowers Oh, no, 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 I, I mean about bowling last night. You know how upset I was about being oh, late? Oh, he was very upset, and, and uh, he, he mentioned how much you like flowers. So he talked you into giving him the flowers you bought for Harriet. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 uh, don't uh, jump to conclusions. <laughs> you see what I'm up against. As a matter of fact, I didn't buy the flowers for Harriet. Uh, I was bringing them home to Harriet, but uh, Darby bought them for Sally, and, and he gave them to me. What's wrong with them? <laughs> uh, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, uh, darling, excuse me, will you please? Uh, uh, why don't you give these to Harriet? I'll get Clara some nice fresh ones. Oh, Clara. <laughs> Clara, where are you going, honey? Hey, Oz. Oh, boy, I'm glad I caught you before you went in the house. Thanks for bringing these home. Oh, boy. I, I phoned Sally again and apologized. Everything's all straightened out. Thanks, boy. <laughs> Uh, Harriet, I have something to explain to you. What about? Well, how about the flowers? Hello. Hi, Oz. This is Joe. <laughs> I thought you might be worried about Clara and me. <laughs> Everything's all right. She said she knew I was crazy when she married me. Oh, I didn't say any such thing. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, uh, I'm glad to hear everything's worked out okay. So long, Joe. What's this about the flowers? Where are they? Oh. Well, I might as well start at the beginning. Hey, Pop. Here they are. I thought I'd bring them in for you. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, they're 
they're just beautiful. Thank you, dear. Oh. <laughs> you didn't have to do this, but I'm glad you did. Oh. I'll get a vase and put them in some water. Oh, it's, uh, water. I'll get you a glass, Pop. No, I... I <laughs> like you need some. Oh. Where did you get the flowers? I had them out in my car. Remember Mom suggested I buy some flowers for Betty to straighten myself out with her? I was going to give them to her tonight. Oh, well, I'll give you the money for them. Oh, no, that's okay, Pop. I charge them to you anyway. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, what about Betty? Well, I was talking to her on the phone tonight, and I happened to mention about buying the flowers. She said not to bring them over, that she had hay fever. So I'm going to buy her some candy instead. Oh. Well, gee, isn't this a little early for hay fever? Well, some guy got on the bus today with a bouquet of flowers, and it started. <laughs> well, gee, thanks a lot, son. It's okay. Any time at all, Dad. Don't they look lovely, dear? Oh, yes, they certainly do. Oh, say, by the way, you had a phone call earlier this evening. A Miss Nordstrom. Uh, Miss Nordstrom? Yes, Olga Nordstrom. She said she'd meet you at the bowling alley again next week. Meet me? Yeah, it seems you took her bowling ball by mistake. <laughs> you see, our initials are the same. Uh, Ozzie Nordstrom and uh, 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 Olga Nelson. Uh... <laughs> it's all right, dear, I understand. <laughs> And the flowers are beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you, dear, in, in so many ways. <laughs> and uh, now, uh, don't I rate some dinner? Oh, why, yes, certainly. <laughs> One of the nicest ways we know to wish your friends a Merry Christmas is to say it with pictures. Family pictures are a warm, personal greeting that people can save all year. They bring news about you, your family, or your home to all your friends. They're the next best thing to a holiday visit. Whether you take a special picture for the occasion or choose one of your all-time favorite snaps, you'll be sending the warmest, friendliest kind of greeting. A greeting only you can send. To have picture greeting cards made, just take your snapshot or negative to your photo dealer and choose the design you want. And when you order 25 or more Kodakolor prints from the same color slide or negative, you get Christmas folders and envelopes too. It's easy and inexpensive. Why not do it this week? to you on film by Eastman Kodak Company. This week, visit your regular Kodak dealer for reliable service in all your picture needs. This has been an ABC Television Network film presentation.